नेक्स्ट वन इज एफेक्ट ऑफ कैटलिस्ट एफेक्ट ऑफ कैटलिस्ट ऑन रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन the catalyst is increases the rate of reaction means the reactant for example the reactant is converted to product it required some time but in presence of catalyst the reactant is converted to product this is our rate of reaction is increases this, this is a presence of catalyst this is absence of catalyst absence of catalyst so rate of reaction is slow here yeah, rate of reaction is fast okay why rate of reaction is increases in presence of catalyst for example if you consider a graph the plot a graph in between again same the reaction condition a reaction coordinate on x axis potential energy on y axis when the graph is plotted in absence of catalyst in absence of catalyst the reactant is converted to product so this is the nature this is your reactant nature this is your product nature okay this is your absence of catalyst okay absence of catalyst okay same reactant in presence of catalyst its activation energy is decreases so this is a product okay so this is presence of catalyst okay presence of catalyst okay now this energy so the energy difference this is called as activation energy here also this is called as activation energy in absence of catalyst means in absence of catalyst the reactant is converted to intermediate so this is your intermediate product the reactant is converted to intermediate required more activation energy but in presence of catalyst the reactant is converted to intermediate its activation energy is decreases so due to that when are the activation the activation energy is decreases the rate of reaction is fast so that is the use of catalyst means in presence of catalyst okay in presence of catalyst the activation energy is decreases okay so if if activation energy is decreases the rate of reaction is fast so this mechanism is involving in catalyst on rate of reaction and next one in this chemical kinetics the last topic is collisions okay collisions collisions between the or collisions theory so collisions theory of rate of reaction collision theory of rate of reactions so this is important one so collisions so in between the molecules so, so means one reactant molecule is interact with another reactant molecule the collisions are takes place a billion times per second per second it involves a billion times of collisions okay so that collisions the collisions are also affect the rate of reactions okay so that is the collision theory of rate of reaction is successfully explained by harinius scientist so in that the mathematical equation for collision theory of rate of reaction is k is equals to z ab into e to the power of minus ea by rt this is similar to arrhenius equation okay in this z is e z is called as collisions frequency is called as collisions frequency or collisions factor means the number of collisions are takes place 
per a second per a unit time in a chemical reaction is called as collision frequency the more number of collisions are takes place per a second in a chemical reaction that is collision frequency the collision frequency is denoted with z now here also we discuss same factor activation energy means the minimum amount of energy is required to associated of a molecule is called as threshold energy and this collision theory the collision theory means the between the molecules are more collisions are takes place so for example we are considering a simple example for this one for organic reaction so methyl bromide the methyl bromide is reacted with base so in presence of base it is converted to methyl alcohol is converted to methyl alcohol and liberated bromide bromine now in this reaction so see the improper orientation and proper orientation so what are the steric interference are takes place in this reaction now we discuss for example this is our ch3br now i am represent like this so we can write two types of reactions first one is improper orientation improper orientation so attacking of oh minus ion so this attacking of oh minus ion in in direct towards to bromide ion so bromine so what happen h c h here h here already bromine is there the bromine carries negative charge it is interact with towards to which ion oh minus ion so more steric interference are takes place because both are having same charge okay so similar charges are at shows more repulsions okay so it finally gives no product so means here steric interference are more that is our improper orientation now proper orientation now we discuss the proper orientation so this is this now bromine so means oh minus ion so this is attacking is towards to opposite side of bromine ion okay while attacking in his back side this bromine is eliminated as front side so the repulsions are less means steric interference is less so it gives a stable intermediate product that is h so h here also as here one of the bond is formation the formation of bond is takes place and another bond undergoes breakage okay that a breakage bond is bromine the formation of the new bond is oh this is your intermediate product okay intermediate so generally this intermediate is called as transition state so finally this gives the product that product is ch3 oh okay ch3 oh or it is in it is presented like this okay so this is your collision means in improper orientation air steric interference so the steric interactions are more so due to the presence of more steric interactions that means more collisions it does it it gives unstable product or no product in proper orientation the attacking of oh minus is back side the elimination is front side so both are opposite side it gives a stable intermediate so for the formation of this intermediate required less energy this is a slow step okay generally this this organic reaction is called as sn2 reaction okay we discuss in the alkyl halide the chemical reactivity of alkyl halide in that sn2 reaction so the collision theory of rate of reaction